Hi everyone. Um, I wanted to tell you today about the oil cleansing method that I use. Um, I've been using it since January, so almost a year. Um, this is the oil. You can see I've got it in a jar and um, tons of herbs and uh, everything in there. I use a mix, half and half, of extra virgin olive oil and um, grapeseed oil. And then I infuse all the, the oil with um, mint and lavender. What else do I have in here? I have white tea. Um, just use the white tea bags. Um, I've got cloves, um, ginger, and mint. And uh, you can put whatever herbs you'd like. It's all antibacterial, any fungal, any viral, any septic, all that crap. Uh, loaded with antioxidants, vitamins, minerals. Um, so it's really good for you and really moisturizes. Um, I have super, super sensitive skin. And, uh, you know, I have a, a weird skin disorder that uh, kind of looks, when it's flaring up, looks as though I have a sunburn that's peeling. And it's irritating, awful, nasty. Um, really super, super sensitive skin. And um, it works great. Now, for the last month, I've been using something else. Um, and I'll talk about that in another video. Um, but the oil cleansing method has been done for thousands of years. Um, when I put it in my bottle to take into the shower, because I'm not going to take glass, um, you know, I mix like three fourths, uh, or not three fourths, um, three to one kind of ratio of castor oil. Um, and then the bulk of the whole mix is this oil here. Um, so a little bit of castor oil, and the rest would be all this oil. Um, and I do let this sit for about a month before I would even use it. As you can see, the uh, the herbs get a little nasty. Who cares? Um, and it smells great. And then I also put, um, in that bottle, I put some um, eucalyptus oil. And I love the smell of eucalyptus, you know, and that's really good for you too. And, um, you know, I use it head to toe. On my hair and as you can see it's not it's not nasty it's not like I have oily hair um, I could do my roots I know um, it's, it's great head to toe and uh, you know the last month I decided well I love my oil but I'm gonna give something else a try and um, so I still use my oil to shampoo my hair um, when I you know, I'm in the shower, I'll use like a handful of it, put it in my hair, take a little bit more, you know, and uh, make sure I've got all the ends covered and everything. I let it sit for a while, and then uh, I rinse it out really well. When I get out of the shower, I use coconut oil for like a leave-in conditioner. And, um, I mean, I spent years using Biosilk, Joico, things like that, and uh, I love them, but, you know... I was getting all kinds of weird skin disorder problems and, uh, you know, body washes. For my face, I would use um, MAC and, uh, you know, the cream wash, which I love, and the oil con uh, control lotion, and I love that too. But, you know, loaded with chemicals, and I have a really sensitive skin, so I was hoping that if I use something natural, that maybe I can make my, my problems go away. As you can see, I still have some of the issues on my face, you know, but... Um, the skin sore on my body, I don't have that anymore. Um, I used that oil, like I said, for 10 months, um, from January, now it's, you know, November. Um, and for a month now I've been using, um, I'll talk about it in another video, but, um, that's great. You know, that oil works amazing. If you have sensitive skin, um, skin disorders, you can use it on acne, it's not going to clog your pores, you don't have to worry. You can use it on your hair. Um, it doesn't leave an oil slick in the tub, you know, I don't care what anybody says. Um, and it's really good for you. And it doesn't irritate your skin. Um, the castor oil in it as well really cleans your pores, everything. Um, you know, and I would use that with um, the washcloth when it comes to my face. Um, but even with a washcloth, I, I can't use them. They tear the skin off my face. You know, I have 
a really hard time with my face especially um, but it works oil cleansing you know I use it with a lot of herbs um, the typical way you can find videos on YouTube is just using the uh, extra virgin olive oil and castor oil and that's great but I want more antioxidants and, and vitamins and minerals and all that so I infuse it with the herbs you know I'll let it sit for a month and then, uh, then I'll go ahead and use it you know it, uh, it doesn't make your hair greasy as you can see you know it is shiny um, it is kind of like using a mousse because it'll keep your hair like that you won't have frizzy god I gotta really, really do my hair um, you won't have frizzy hair anymore it doesn't weigh it down um, it just makes it feel nice um, shiny healthy I don't ever have split ends um, it's really good I recommend everyone do it um, you know like I said with all the herbs that I use in it the uh, mint and the lavender um, the white tea bags um, I use a chunk of ginger cloves um, you know different things I'll let sit in there and uh, that's healthy antibacterial antiviral antifungal it's really good for your skin moisturizes your skin helps um, reversing a lot of the sun damage problems um, it's worth trying definitely worth trying if you have sensitive skin if you have acne prone skin skin disorders do it you know especially if you have skin disorders on your body um, it'll make them go away I have been without my skin disorder like I said it was like a um, kinda like I had a, a sunburn that was peeling and it would burn and itch and just seriously irritating um, it made it all go away normally I would use Vagicil to kill it and uh, this last time I tried which was in December um, I put it on over a month and the Vagicil at that point was not doing anything so I you know started looking up different things found the oil cleansing and I figured okay I'm gonna try it on on my uh, my body and see how it worked it took about a month and you you can't see the skin disorder it's gone it was raised above the surface as well and it's no longer there so definitely give it a try like I said I let it sit you know with all the herbs in there I let it sit for about a month before I attempt to mix it with the castor oil and the eucalyptus oil you can see all the herbs and everything I have um, worth it definitely worth it you know try it hope you enjoy